On the first day of school, I use that time to uh, tell the students about myself. But on the second day of class, I use that time to share with the students my philosophy on teaching, on what I want students to learn in this class this year. Are we going to learn something today? Well, we are going to learn something today, but before we actually learn history, I want to frame it in the perspective of a bigger picture. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you my philosophy on teaching. And well, all I did is I basically recorded uh, my first day, or actually recorded my second day of teaching, uh, kind of me in the classroom. Uh, and so you get a first-hand perspective of what I do and how I tell them about my philosophy on teaching. So I hope you enjoy the video, but before we do it, let's roll that intro and then we get right to the recording. Yesterday I shared with you uh, a little bit about myself, you know, my, my name, my family. But today what I want to do is tell you what I want you to get out of this class. What before you leave this school year, what I want you to leave with. That's what, that's what I want today to be, is kind of my philosophy on teaching. When I first started teaching, this was my goal for my students. I wanted them, once you teach history, I wanted them to memorize the dates, as many dates as possible, memorize names, I wanted them to memorize different events, I wanted them to have that, all that information and in their mind when they left my class. And that was my goal at first, right? When the students were in my class. But as the years went on, I thought, is that really the best thing to do? Why do you need to learn history? Can you be successful at life and not learn about history? Yes. Right, There's right. Jobs you don't need to yeah, know about I mean, what history. jobs do you need to know history for? Not a lot. History teacher, that's it maybe, right? I mean, I think about what you really need to learn history. I mean, uh, I'll go home and I'll I'll put on the you know I'll watch some sort of documentary of the Civil War or, or something else going on the Revolutionary War and I love that. So I'll watch it, I'll watch it, watch it. My wife will come in and she goes, "What are you watching?" Oh man, this is great. It's a documentary of the Civil War. She's like, "Oh man, right?" She she doesn't want to watch that stuff. She doesn't really care about history that much. But she's one of the the, the most uh, smartest people I know. And she really didn't know all the facts about history. So when I came to realization that you guys really don't need history to be successful in life, then what is my purpose? What, why do we teach you history? And so here's what I came up with. About what I really want students to get out of this class. And here's the answer. I want you guys to think. It's pretty easy, right? I want you guys to think. I, I want you to think about everything. I want you to start questioning things. I want you to like, is that really how it happened? Or is that really mad? I want you to think about everything. You guys are in eighth grade. I don't know if you know this, but eighth grade is kind of tough. Teenagers, I would, anybody, you ask any old person, what is the hardest time in your life? Chances are they're gonna probably say middle school. Chances are. It's a tough spot you guys are in because you guys are trying to figure everything out right now. You're moving from being a little kid to being an adult. Right? You guys try to figure out. And I hope that you take the time to actually think about what do you really want out of life, what you believe in, and everything else. So when I was a kid, when I was little, I saw the world as black and white. You know, good and what? Bad. That's how I saw it. I remember I had a conversation with my mom. Uh, I, I don't know how old I was, I was little, right? And my mom came to me and, and we we're talking and uh, she said, Oh, and she was telling me about her friends having a hard time. I go, What's wrong? She goes, oh, well, she's getting a divorce. I'm like, oh, okay. Why did they get a divorce? And she says, her husband cheated on her. I like, really? She goes, yeah. I go, was well, she going to go to jail? She goes, what? Well, shouldn't he go to jail? She goes, why would he go to jail? Well, because cheating is what? Yeah. Cheating's bad, and bad people go where? Yeah. Jail. Made sense to me. Cheating's bad, bad people go to jail. He should go to jail. Of course, that's not how, you guys know that's not how it works, right? But that's how, black and white, real simple. But the older you get, the more you realize it's not black and white. There's a lot of gray area in there. And I, and I want to use this class, I'm, we're going to learn history. We're going to learn history. But I want to use history to explore that gray area. And then we're in that gray area, I want you to kind of start figuring out what you really think and believe. 
So here's an example. We've got three kids. When they're little, when they're little, 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 I, I, I remember me and my wife would teach them. We taught them, hey guys, uh, honesty is important. You guys always need to be honest. So whatever you guys do, don't what? Lie. Don't lie, right? Don't lie. Always tell the truth. They're like, okay, dad. You know, I look at them, okay, dad. I'm excited. And so a couple months later, um, it's my wife's birthday. And so I take the kids out and kind of sneak them out real fast. I wish we snuck out. We went some shopping for my wife's birthday present. And, and I brought it back home and I hid it somewhere. And I said, okay, if your mom asks what we did today or she asks if we got her a present, I want you guys to say no. And they go, okay, dad. Hey, dad. Yeah. But if we tell her no, isn't that what? Lying. Isn't that lying? So I just taught them lying's bad. Yeah, isn't that lying? I'm like, And so this is what parents do, right? When they realize they messed up, do we say, we're sorry? No, no. We say, so well, actually, hold on, hold on. Lying is bad unless, there's an exception, unless you're doing something nice for somebody. If you're doing something nice for somebody, then it's okay. So like a birthday present, that's okay. Surprise party, that's okay. So lying is bad unless you do something nice, then it's okay. They go, do you, do you understand? They're like, okay, dad. All right. Ooh, close one, right? A right. couple months uh, go by, next years go by, and uh, next thing you know, uh, uh, we're going on a trip somewhere. It's me and the wife and the kids in the back, and you know, I'm just kind of driving along, and I kind of lost track of what I was doing. Uh, I think I must have been going like 85 miles an hour. It was like a 65 miles on the freeway. And my wife said, hey, you're going kind of fast. Look down, it's like 85 miles. I'm like, oh, well. But just as I do that, guess what happens? Woo! And the sirens go on. Look behind me. The cops pull me over. They pull me over, and they do their thing. They do that, you know, uh, license registration, please. Yes, sir. Yes, officer. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, boom. And I hand it to them. And then they ask me that question, which is, do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know how fast you were going? Now I knew because I just looked at it. I was going 85 miles an hour. So being the honest person that I am, I told the officer, yes, officer. I do know exactly how fast I was going. I said no. I said uh, no. He goes, well, you're going kind of fast. I go, really? I did not know that. He goes, well, and he, we talked. He let me go. He let me go, right? Sweet, let me go. We get home, and my kids go, hey, Dad, yeah? Why did you lie to the officer? Well, I call him lying's bad. Unless you do something nice. Well, I wasn't doing anything nice to the officer, but I lied anyways. And so what do I tell him now? And so as a good parent, I had to explain to them. I said, kids, lying is bad. Don't you ever lie unless you do something nice or somebody or unless um, it's okay if you're not hurting anybody. I wasn't hurting the police officer. So since I wasn't hurting the police officer, it's okay to lie in that case. And my kids are like, oh, okay. So I always thought of lying is bad. Lying is bad, but as I go, as we go through life, you realize it's not quite that simple. And then here is the, here's the worst one here. This, this, this was my moment I realized that um, I had to start thinking to myself, what do I really believe? And so uh, kids, oh, we're getting ready to go to the movies. I've got a movie, let's get ready to go to the movies. My kids come downstairs, my oldest daughter, my kid had come downstairs. She's like, all right, dad, I'm ready to go. I go, oh, sweetie, can you do me a favor? Can you grab your purse for me? But Dad, I don't, I don't want to take my purse. I don't have to worry about my purse. I'm not taking my purse today. I got enough to be doing. Just my, just stay in your purse for me, please. So, but Dad, I, I don't, I don't want to take my purse. Like, get your purse. Okay. She goes upstairs to get your purse. Then here comes my uh, son down. Right, he's all ready to go in his jeans or whatever it is. And I go, hey, son, you wearing that? Yeah, I'm wearing that, Dad. Um, can can you just do me a favor? Can you actually wear that, those 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 pants that are real baggy, have big pockets in it? Well, I don't wear those pants with big pockets in it. Well, just said, just no, please go. Just one time to wear it. I don't want to wear it. Wear those. Okay. And he goes, gets his pants with big pockets. And then, of course, my younger daughter comes down. Same thing with her. Get your purse. And they all come downstairs. And I have laid out from the most beautiful spread of popcorn. You know, you pop the popcorn, you put it in a little Ziploc bag, right? Popcorn in the bag, sodas, candy, all this stuff ready to go to the movies. They go, Dad, you're not going to make us. Yes, I am. But, Dad, we don't. Shut up. So next thing I make each of my kids put popcorn in the purse. My poor son has a soda. You know, he's like, 
walk into the theater like this. You know, you can obviously tell. Soto's like, hair's kind of jiggling as he's walking in, switching back and forth. Maybe my son put the sodas in his pocket, my kids are put the popcorn candy in the purse. And I tell them, I say, guys, here's the deal now, right? If they ask you if you have any food, you're supposed to tell them what? No. No. But dad, isn't that shut up? Yes, I know it's lying. Do it anyway. So save me $40, all right? And so I realized that I sent them in there and everything else, and we made it, you know. It's obvious when someone's in there, you're like, shh, you know, the movie theater. Anyways. So we enjoyed the thing and everything. But I was so proud of that. I'm like, yeah, stupid movie theater charged me $40. Who do they think they are? You know, yeah, I showed them and everything else. But then I remember I was talking with a friend. And I was telling this story. And he's like, he's listening, right? I'm all proud of it. Like, yeah, look what I did. I got away with it, right? And then he looks at me and he goes, hey, um, uh, do you know what integrity is? I mean, tech, you know what integrity is, in case you know what integrity is. Integrity is doing the right thing when no one else knows. It's easy to do the right thing when people are watching you because you're like, oh man, I better do the right thing they're going to see me do the wrong thing. But integrity is doing the right thing when you can get away with doing the wrong thing. Because do you know what integrity is? They go, yeah, I know what integrity is. Because what, do you have integrity? Go, yeah, I got integrity. Do you think you're a good person? I go, yeah, I think I'm a good person. He goes, let me ask you this though. How much did you say? I said, $40, all proud. He goes, he said, let me get straight. You sold your integrity. You taught your kids it's okay to lie for how much money? $40. Is that all your word is worth is $40? Dang, that hurt, man. Dang. I mean, is it really, I mean, is it really worth teaching my kids it's okay to lie? To have them look at me like I'm trying for 40 bucks? It was a hard one to think. So I thought about it, I'm like, oh man, I gotta kinda look at my life a little bit. Is it, am, I, am I really that willing to sell what I say I think is important for such a small price or for any price? And so I had another friend that always asked me this question. I used to be part of a, a men's group where we get together and talk, right? Great stuff, great stuff. And I had this one guy, um, his name was Alan, and he would always ask me this question. Anytime we said something, he goes, do you really believe that? But what do you mean? He goes, do you really say, do you really believe what you say you believe? Do I really believe what I, because we all say we believe things, right? How about this? I believe being a good friend is important. But the next thing you know, you're talking behind your friend's back. I believe I, I'm, I'm, I want to be on the football team. But you're not willing to wake up early to practice. I believe school's important. But you don't do your homework. Do you really believe what you say you believe? So what I want to do this school year is we're definitely going to talk about history. I mean, I want you to know things like Thomas Jefferson, Declaration of Independence, George Washington, Civil War, and what we're going to learn about those things. But as we learn about those things, we're going to explore that gray area. And as we explore the gray area, I want you to start questions of, do I really believe what I think I believe? Well, thank you for watching the video. If you want more tips and tricks of the trade, just click on one of the links above here. And remember, stay zesty.